Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out the Rimmel foundation, the new breathable foundation. I really, st I still need to fix my hair so I'm just going to do this with it for now. This is what the foundation and concealer looks like. I have the foundation in Noisette and the concealer in Medium Dark number 400. So my nose is still kind of blocked and I have a cough so I'm sorry if I sound really like weird. I want it to go away but I'm on, I'm recovering, it's just starting to go away. On the back of the foundation it says to shake well before use and it's a lightweight skin perfecting foundation with medium coverage, breathable skin technology that moisturises for up to 25 hours with SPF 20 which is really good, I think that sounds pretty good because there's hydration in there. And then the concealer, it says it's a long lasting breathable concealer with medium coverage, helps to conceal imperfections. Cushion applicator allows for perfect blendability and touch-ups on the go. I like by just by looking at the sponge, I feel like that wouldn't be so convenient for me. I feel like I would go in with my PE blender, but we'll see how it works. So I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown moisturizer. I'll link everything in the info box as always, by the way. I'm also gonna go with a tiny bit of this. SPF 50 that was given to me by the um, clinic that I go, Premier Laser Clinic, who did my laser. Um, this is SPF 50. What's so cool about this foundation is that it comes with like this really massive doe foot applicator. This is what the applicator looks like. It looks so fun. I think this is a pretty good match for me. It might be a tad dark, but it does feel very, very lightweight. I'm gonna do one side first. That's not bad. I feel like all foundations should have an applicator like this. Because I always like dot my foundation, but then I kind of smush it around like this. So this is so convenient. It's definitely medium coverage. It blended really nicely actually. It's light to medium coverage. I can still see some things from my skin, especially these areas. I might put a bit more there. It blends really nicely with a sponge, like literally in a few seconds. It's a bit dark for me, but I'm gonna balance. Hopefully my concealer's light enough. But let's do this on the other side. I think that blended really really well, it looks really nice, I like the fact that it looks like skin, like literally doesn't look cakey whatsoever, it's very thin. Let's go onto the concealer shall we? Yeah, I'm just going to push all shit and then I'm just going to put us the concealer, I think it's going to be a bit too dark. I just don't see how you would be able to blend with this, you know? Normally I like a super full coverage with my concealer. The fact that this concealer is medium coverage, I'm not too sure about it. Let's see. The concealer did help the foundation dim down a bit in terms of darkness, but I feel like this looks really good if you like a natural medium finish. It's just like skin really, it's, it's got a glow to it, but I did have quite glowy, like, not glowy, but very hydrating moisturisers underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to talk about my thoughts on the foundation and concealer. 
Okay, so I just did the rest of my makeup. It's now at 9 a.m. exactly, like I wanted to just state that. Um, I'm gonna go work soon. I just feel like around my mouth is not the best. Like it doesn't, it might look good on camera, but I can still see like pigmentation. Um, I still see like my skin through here. Hi guys, so I'm really sorry that I'm gonna have to end this video like this today because like everything's downstairs and unset up and literally I'm just knackered, like I'm so tired and I've got family over so it's gonna be hard for me to film anyways. Yeah, I was thinking to like bring all my stuff up in my room and I'm just like I'm not I'm not gonna do that. But to be honest guys, I have to say I know I don't know if you can see. Can you see like how patchy it is? The lighting's terrible, I know. I'm just really not happy with it like I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm just really disappointed even my friend Nina she looked at my face she's like it's very ashy around here and I was like yes it's very ashy it's not the best drugstore foundation I have to say like it's gone really patchy it's giving me so much smile lines <coughs> concealer is just like pointless like there's no coverage I look like I've got bags for days it's just like it's done nothing for me like at first it looked good but it ha it's not long wearing at all like it, it's not it just fades it's just all gone and the color is a bit orangey for me as well so yeah it's a, it's not a good one for for this one guys so i'm probably gonna give it honestly the foundation i would give it probably like um like a four out of ten and the concealer was a two out of ten for me i feel like there's much better foundations out there especially drugstore and trust me i've tried a lot of foundations like the rimmel match perfection is one of my favorite drugstore foundations so i'm not trying to bash rimmel at all i'm just being plain honest with you guys like i always have been and it, this foundation is definitely not the best out there and it, it didn't do much for me like if you want very light coverage and just not long wearing at all but if you want something light then just like to quick on put on then you can go for this one but i would definitely recommend the match perfection over this one so yeah those are my thoughts on the foundation concealer again i'm so sorry to finish the video like this in its lighting but i hope you guys were able to see a bit um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time bye